Life expectancy has increased substantially over the last 100 years. That's something we're celebrating. That is good news, but it does come with a problem, an increase in the incident of age-related diseases. In simple terms, we can think of three ways of improving how we age. The first is increasing our chances of living longer, but not improving our health as we age. The second is not increasing our chance of living longer, but improving our health at each age. The third is that we reduce both the risk of dying and improve our health at each age. The first option, living longer but in declining health, we call the Strule Group scenario after Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. The second, not living longer but improving our health, we call the Dorian Gray scenario after Oscar Wilde's book. The third, living longer in better health, we call the Peter Pan scenario after the play about the boy who never grew up. The next step is to use economic tools to calculate the dollar value to us of these different ways of aging better. At the heart of this calculation is a concept called the value of a statistical life. That depends on two things. The first is around the quantity of life you have. The second is about the quality of that time. That depends on your health, how much money you have to spend, and how much leisure you enjoy. Different combinations of life expectancy and health lead to different choices about work, spending, saving, and retirement, and so lead to different values of a statistical life. We can use these values to calculate the economic value of aging better. Using this approach, we can show just how valuable aging better is. Let's start with the Struhlbrug approach. Based on current U.S. data, one more year of additional life expectancy is worth $118,000 to the average American. That's a lot, but each additional year is worth less and less because of declining health. More valuable, though, is improving health span without changing life expectancy. For the average American, one more year of healthy life expectancy is worth $242,000. Each additional year is worth slightly less, but the results are clear. It is currently more valuable to get health span to catch up with lifespan than it is to just increase life expectancy. But even better is to slow down aging so that you get both more years of life and in better health. The gains to this are staggering. For the rich economies, the value of one more year of life achieved via Peter Pan is worth around 3-4% to of GDP each year. Adding that up over time means around 38 to 51 trillion for the US. In the UK, the gains are worth 6.5 trillion. So the conclusion is clear. The economic value to focusing health improvements on how we age are enormous and should be a key priority for policy. There are two reasons. The first reason is that it is only now that the young and middle-aged can expect to become old. Previously, only a minority did. The second reason is that there are now a lot more old people, and the older you are, the more you value aging well. So we are more likely to become old, and there are more old people, and together that makes aging well our main health priority.